Welcome. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And, and this, this is Statesman's Donders. It's Saturday the 5th of November. Guy Fawkes night. It's just after 3 o'clock. And we are at Finlotter. Came here for a long weekend because I've taken Monday off work just because I can. Um, and we picked the wrong weekend because the people that own the property next to the car park have or are in the process of uh, repairing the old buildings and he's putting roof tiles on his nice new shiny roof. So for the first time since we've been coming to Finlater, the buildings have got a roof. I'm not sure what he's going to do with it, but I think we're in the way. There's bollards all round the side of where we're parked, but there was nothing there when we came last night. Um, so Maybe you'll ask us to move the van tomorrow, I don't know. We'll find out. But this is the brightest it's been all day. It was kind of grey and overcast this morning and it's been raining. And now blue skies. Well, a bit of cloud and the sun's going to set. It is not warm. David says it's not cold, but David's not me. When we got up this morning, the temperature gauge said 3 degrees outside and 6 degrees inside. I'm not sure. I think it's gone up to 7, but it's not warm. There's thankfully not much wind, which would make it even worse and at least it's dry-ish. The path very muddy, very wet, so I don't think I'll be going to the beach because the path is a bit precarious at the best of times but if it's wet and muddy it's just not worth the risk. The KP index is sitting at 5 at the moment, so fingers crossed we might actually see something tonight. It's certainly cold enough. So I'm taking you to the Ducat. Sorry about the second sun, but as I said, it hasn't exactly been dry today, so I just, oops. I just decided to come out and take a quick walk to the Ducat. Sorry if the sun's in your eyes. Um, and down to the castle. If I don't fall flat on my face. So this is really rather slippy. But Muck does that. Sorry, I'm watching where I'm putting my feet. And I can't hold on to the fence because the top rower is uh, barbed wire. I don't fancy getting barbed wire in my hand. So, this is the Ducat. That was part of the castle. It's uh, in use now by crows, pigeons and anybody else. And I don't think you can see in. But I'll try. It's a bit dark. Oh boy!
I don't know if you'll see or nothing because I can't see because I've turned the camera upside down. And it's surprised the door's still open to be honest. But Look at David's out videoing. I came here for two reasons. One because my Aurora Alert app has been telling me that the Aurora is going to be visible, you know, well the forecast says it is, but no one can forecast the cloud cover or the weather. And the other one was to try and stay away from fireworks. I'm sure Colin will have its own display and I know Bucky does. And Elgin certainly does, it's quite a large uh, display, the Rotary Club puts on, and obviously for us. Port Gordon was last weekend, I've never understood why Port Gordon always had to have the fireworks before Halloween, but they did. So, I'll try and stay away from them. Don't get me wrong, I love fireworks, as long as it's organised displays and not Joe Bloggs in his back garden trying to terrorise half the neighbourhood, the kids, the animals or whatever. We've been to some incredible uh, displays in our time. Right, I'll be back in a minute, I'm going to take some pictures. good thing about Finlater or the car park is that there's no street lights to interfere with your night vision if we're lucky enough to see anything. We've once made the mistake of thinking that Califer viewpoint would be the same because there's no street lights there, completely forgetting about Kinloss and Findhorn. So, if there was any, we didn't see them, and unfortunately for us that weekend, Stuart from A Van With A View came back um, because he thought he was going to see the lights, and he joined us, and obviously we didn't see anything because the street lights were too much, but he did see the Milky Way which was incredible, but it was such a bitterly cold night. So. But after we got home, obviously going on Facebook and all the Aurora Facebook groups you see all the pictures people have taken and you think wow I've stolen lights sometimes and I've taken pictures of them not very good ones but they're the best I could get and I've seen pictures that other people have claimed I've taken and They've obviously seen something completely different from what I've seen. But sometimes the cynic in me thinks, ooh, Photoshop. But 
Maybe they're just luckier than I am. This wee camera of mine's not really set up for um, taking night pictures or... Oh, hello goldfinch! Uh, stars or auroras. It's not a very fancy camera but it does me fine. It gets me what I want without being overly complicated. Possibly if I read the manual and did as it told me to, I'd probably get better pictures, especially with the night sky and the aurora, but I haven't done it yet. I'm afraid I'm just a point and shoot kind of girl. I always have been. I get nice compliments on my pictures, which I am grateful for. But I just take pictures of what I like. I see something I think, well that would look good. So, pick the camera up, point, shoot. And that's it. I've seen people take ages posing things, you know, and thinking, oh we could do it this way, that, nah. It's too much like bother to me, you just pick the camera up, push the button and hope for the best. That's one of the joys of having a digital camera when you don't have to wait weeks for the film to come back with the photos and then find out that half of them are all focus, they're out of focus or in one case I think I had four pictures that were completely black because I forgot to take the blessed lens cap off so, done that quite a few times you know 36 pictures and a film roll and half of them are wrecked because they're out of focus or you didn't quite get what you wanted, you know take a picture of a bird and all you get is its tail feathers as it flies off got that a few times too so and like I said before because I like taking sunset pictures I tend to take a lot of them uh, never up for sun noises that's for people that are more eager than me. I think if we're still using the normal film, I'd have bankrupt us years ago because they might have pictures I take. So. And the other thing is, if I don't like a digital picture that I have taken, I delete it. And David doesn't use all the ones I give him, but he has to, I'd say about 75% of the time, he has to straighten them up. Because they're squiffy. But that's just me. I can't give him something to do. <laughs> this is the way down to the castle. We are not going across the promenade to the castle. I made it there on the third attempt. Um, I certainly wouldn't do it this time of year, not with the well, the path down here is lethal because it's so slippy. And being across the promenade would be even worse. And there isn't anybody else about. Well, I haven't seen anybody else. And it's a hell of a drop from the castle to the water. One, I don't think you'd survive it. And two, it'd be too flipping cold when you're in the water. So... I'll stay on this side. Having done it once, I may never do it again. I've walked to Sunnyside Beach quite a few times. I've never made it to Sand End yet because the path 
is kind of gone. It's in disarray, I think. So maybe that'll be for the summer when it's a bit drier. Oh, there's a new sign up. What's it saying? Don't walk to Sand End. Remember that being there before. Protected place, no metal detecting. Oh, new. A scheduled monument. Okay. Oh, that is definitely new. I was never there before. I wouldn't think of using a metal detector down here. No, they're quite right, it is protected. And the one thing I have noticed recently, and I keep saying this to David, is the fact that I'm not seeing as many gulls as I used to. And there's the castle. You might not get a good view of it because it is getting dark. And there's not even many birds on the rocks. Plowed. We think he's growing stones for next season because it seems to be awfully in the fields. This is a viewpoint for Finlater Castle, and that's Finlater. What's left of it? I know it was besieged a couple of times but I can't work out where they got the fresh water from because I can't see any streams or anything anywhere near it. I'm sure they've managed somehow. Well, that's it for now folks because like I said it's getting cold and my fingers are freezing. Take care all, and if the weather's okay tomorrow, we might come out again. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donuts. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please. Subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.